We're here with South Carolina coach Shane Beamer. You are upset with me. <laughs> Why are you upset with me? I'm upset with your rankings of SEC head coaches that would win <laughs> in a fight. Okay. And frankly, there's a lot of people that know me that felt that that was an inaccurate uh, ranking. Okay. Tell me how. T tell me what kind of like are you are, are an anchor man? Are you coming out with weapons or what's happening? No, nah, I just think that I'm. I'm still, I consider myself young, fairly athletic, work out every single day, exercise regularly, in the weight room every morning at 6 a.m. Um, I'm hard pressed to believe that everybody's doing that at 6 a.m. Some of the things that I do, pushing sleds and throwing med balls and whatnot, but it's all good. I'd rather be low in those rankings than high in an all right, I, I, need to see, I need to see some cardio. Right. Cardio this on the sidelines. Well, there's plenty of cardio. You <laughs> come to Columbia one morning, meet me in the weight room at 6 a.m., right. and we'll see. All right, all right. Well, you're higher than drink bits, so that's good. <laughs> all right, so last time you were on the show, you hadn't named a starting quarterback, but we all sort of knew what, who was it going to be. So now give us a scouting for Lenore Sellers. What do you got? Yeah, so we named Lenoris the starting quarterback coming out of spring practice. Told him he's got to continue to uh, compete. Yeah. Robbie Ashford, who we brought in from Auburn, is going to continue to compete mm -hmm. to try and be the quarterback. And we also have Luke Doty that's in that mix as well. So we've got a good group at that quarterback room, young, athletic. Um, both are bigger bodies, obviously different than Spencer yeah. Rattler. Both those, Robbie and, and uh, Robbie and Lenoris are both 240-pound guys right. that can run and throw both, so it brings a different – element to our offense both of them are having awesome summers and kind of eager to see how it continues to develop so with Robbie Ashford he obviously has SEC experience probably yep. the, the most experienced as a quarterback yep what did you learn from him watching him at Auburn where does he need to improve to be part of your scheme yeah I think you know he's kind of had a not the ideal uh, journey journey <laughs> I was going to say, journey is probably the right word. When you talk about Oregon, Oregon to, Auburn. to Auburn, multiple coaches sure. um, as well. I think Robbie was just looking for uh, some consistency, yeah. uh, solidifying the coaching staff and the system that he's going to yep. be in where he can really just get in there, work with the coach, and develop as a quarterback. Yeah. And um, he's done that with Dal Loggins, our offensive coordinator and quarterback's coach. Uh, I feel like Robbie's made a lot of progress since uh, – since he got there in January, and uh, eager to see him. You know, I think just, he would tell you there's a lot of areas to improve. I think the biggest thing is just playing quarterback and yeah. being confident and being around a coaching staff that uh, believe. Not, I'm not saying anybody didn't, but a, a staff that believes in him yeah. and, and uh, continues to, to help him get better. Uh, the offensive line. Yep. It's been it, the injuries have just decimated you guys over the last couple of seasons. Yep. Is it one of those things this year where you you hope and you've been trying to to teach them? Hey, you learn your best lessons from the from the the things that hurt most. Yeah, I think you can look at a lot of positions and say that. You know, we went through some uncomfortable moments last yep. year because of injuries and in youth. We grew from it. it. wasn't always pretty, but we grew. Uh, you look at we started two true freshmen on the offensive line last year. They'll be better for that this year. Um, we've uh, there's no question we're more talented on the offensive line than what we were last year at this time. Uh, we, we have more experience because those guys are a year older. And now I think the key is for them just to continue to grow and develop and, and get better. But we grew from last year, and, and, ex and those guys, that's a hungry group as well right. because they've heard what's being said about them on the outside, and I know they're excited to, uh, to, to put that to bed. All right, I don't want uh, any advertisers or partners to get mad at you. Best restaurant in Columbia. Mm, see, I can't name them all because <laughs> somebody's going to get mad at me. Um, we got a lot of good ones. There's a lot of good ones in Columbia. It's hard to name one. I name one, I'll probably forget a sponsor. Like you're saying, <laughs> I'm going to make a friend mad that owns a restaurant that I don't name. So I'll just say that there's a lot of really good ones and fortunate to live in the capital city of South Carolina. It's a great place. Well, appreciate it, Shane. You got it.